my name is Ratsumi, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> what character? Uh, convict, it was Convict. Alright, because I did Bullet and I did Pilot, and I didn't do Convict immediately after. That makes a lot of sense to me. I believe I've done my Frightful quest in the last episode, so let's check that. Yeah, we've finished the Agonizer quest, and now we're looking for Muzzle Wisps. 1668 Hedge Mini credits. I... Do not believe there is any way that I will ever exhaust those heavenly credits. I could stop playing now, and then I could buy every item in every DLC that could possibly be released from now on. And I think I'll still be at least a thousand in the clear. So I think at this point, I just have to go for ridiculous numbers. When are we gonna break that 2k barrier? But you know what? I don't even care about the 2k barrier. When are we going to break... That five-digit barrier. That's right, 10,000 Hedgemi credits. You gotta have something to aim for. I'm aiming for arbitrary amount of runs succeeded in a row. And arbitrary height of Hedgemi credits. Seems like a good enough goal to me. Where is this secret room? May as well test while I'm here. Okay, not there. We'll kick this over just in case. Not incredibly likely we get to go to the Oubliette. But hell, I'll always leave the op option open to myself whenever possible. Uh, yeah, that's a... That's a one of these right there. Because more respawn in there, right? No, they respawn out here. Never mind, I'm bad. You'd imagine after this amount of time having played this game, and this amount of collection of hegemony credits, I'd know that. But no. I'm still absolutely blind to the mechanics of the game, apparently. I think I just mistook it for another room that occurs here on the first floor, where everything does continue spawning from that central point. Okay. I think- Well, god damn it, stop giving me all these ammo drops! I haven't got any reason for them. They're not good for me right now. I don't want to be using the Molotov willy-nilly, because it's very likely that I managed to find a shop, uh, sorry, a shop, a boss. And start hitting them with it. I don't want to walk into the boss and not have the Molotov cocktail ready. That's just a tragic affair. Okay. That was a little bit of a dire roll right there, which I'd... Prepared better for that. Oh, this is just going to go down to another item room. I think this is going to be off the shop. This is an item room. This is another loot for an item room. This will be the boss room up here. Oh, never mind. This is the shop. I mean, at the very least, I'm glad to see it. So we'll go in. It's entirely possible something's available in the shop that is going to make me reconsider the way I'm going to be fighting this boss. Never mind. The reconsideration would have been, you know, if Sling is in there, for example, uh, I'll just buy Sling. <laughs> I'll guarantee that early boss kill. Right. Oh, crap. I didn't have the Molotov cocktail when I walked in here. I was missing it by an absolute minuscule amount. Okay, so far they're sticking together. This is really handy. Now that they're a little bit more split up though, we are in danger. Okay, nope. Are they grouped back up? Oh my God. I can't believe it. The tails are real. They actually got the fuck back together, the madmen. Well, I mean, now we're gonna flawless. If it wasn't for that charge attack, that stupid, stupid charge attack, we could have easily been screwed, but no! They decided to charge towards one another. 
and enable me. I can't claim anything except for the fact that I'm incredibly happy about it. I also got a gold casing after the fight? Good lord. How many benefits do you want to give me, game? I've been getting so much ammo. Yeah, I actually can't see a situation where I open this. If I had enough keys left open, uh, left over rather, in order to open that, I think I'd just go to the oubliette instead, so. I actually can't imagine a single situation in which I would have been opening that brown chest. Passive or gun, it doesn't matter. I need to find a better way to talk about passive slash active chests. Because I'm sick of saying passive slash active, because gun is obvious. Alright. Hey, hey, hey! Three coolness up! Don't mind if I do! Uh, I'm actually gonna go for ammo belt this early in the game. Do I? I kind of want to. Like, a lot. I definitely take the key. Do I take the ammo belt? Do I take the ammo belt? Let's go quickly check for the final location for the secret room. Or the final obvious location for the secret room, rather. Uh, I'll check this one manually, and then I'll go and blank this big old room over here. Oh. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. So that's a 30% damage up. Good, good thing I got that. I'm not going to take blood brooch. It's a needless level of curse to be taking now. Actually, you know what? I think I know where the secret room is. I think it's the left of this room. So I'm just going to quickly test that. Nope, I was wrong. I'm glad to be wrong. And it's not there either. Beautiful. Yeah, I think I now just hold off on my money. Especially because I just took levels of curse and I've already got levels of coolness. So I've got three and a half levels of curse and I've got three levels of coolness. So my item drop rate should not be affected, except for the fact that when an item drops, it is going to be more likely to be armor. Armor, sorry, ammo. So the ammo belt is worth less to me right now. Beautiful. It's worth noting, coolness increases your drop rate by the same amount that uh, Curse decreases your drop rate. And I don't think it works in, uh, in non-integer increments. So I think 0.5 has no effect on your drop rate. I don't know of anything that can give you 0.5 coolness, but I know you can get 0.5 levels of Curse. I think for all intents and purposes, 0.5 levels of Curse just counts as nothing. Until you get another 0.5, obviously. I don't know why I rolled forward there, putting myself in risk, but it's a bad idea. I'd recommend not doing it. If I were to talk to myself back before I completed that room, I'd have a few choice words about whether or not to go through with that roll. Really thought I was going to get that. See? Look at this ammo drop. Look at these ammo drops. Drop an ammo on ammo. Um. No. Oh, I should have shot it. Yeah, I should have shot it. Since my ender rune drops are more likely to be ammo than anything else, we're now in a situation where I can't rely on having an extreme amount of keys. Because a lot of the keys are going to be transmuted into ammo before I even see them. So as a result, I think at this point, I don't really want to be opening blue chests either.
There's a lot of things I do want from the blue chest pool, so it is a rough decision to make. Uh, but I don't think it's necessarily wrong. Especially this early in the game, I can later make more informed decisions about how to deal with those kinds of things, but right now, I think I just have to avoid it. Especially because it was a decision under duress. I'm glad you finally got burnt. Because I was very clearly aiming for that earlier! What? Game. Game. Not okay. That's super not okay. Especially because now I'm going to kill you in time. Or not. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I already took a hit. Doesn't matter how many hits you take, it just matters if you take one. <sighs> also, I was concerned about the fact that... Oh, that's a shrine! I should have checked that. I thought that was a... I thought that was a special shop. It's a shrine that's locked over there. I probably don't go to a locked shrine, to be honest. If you're wondering why I didn't blank there, it's because I didn't think I was going to get hit. <laughs> Blanks are a perfect, perfect defense when you know you're going to get hit. When you don't know you're going to get hit, they're not... <laughs> they're entirely ineffectual. <laughs> Hindsight's 2020, 20, unfortunately, in that regard. I now know, with the benefit of hindsight, that I should have blanked. Gosh, dang it. Whee. I'm really glad that I have the damage up right now, though. Just because it's making a lot of the things that weren't previously one-shots into one-shots, and that's feeling pretty good. It's homing bullets, isn't it? I don't have a strong feeling one way or the other on this right now. I'm not going to increase my curse. That is 10% extra damage, but if I increase my curse in this run, I want to increase it meaningfully. By that, I don't mean by a meaningful amount. I mean that I want to increase it with some benefit. Nothing? Oh, there is another. Beautiful. Uh, you know what? I'm going to purchase two keys on this floor. I'm going to go check that shrine. I'll check the shrine before I check for secret rooms. Just because the shrine easily could be a blank shrine. And then I just want to blank there twice. Nope. It's 30% extra damage. Three levels of curse. But again, it's not really giving me anything of value. Wait, I know where the secret room is. It's adjacent to the top item room. Right, no, because I, I I let the thinking of there was a mimic in there and I had to make evaluations of keys versus uh, future opportunities. I let that override all of my thinking about this room. So I completely blanketed and buried the lead on... Wait, there's a, there's a secret room adjacent up there. I'll continue using the pulse cannon, but I'm very well aware that sniper rifle is now in its prime. I'm hoping that I get enough curse for sniper rifle to be in its prime later as well. Thank you to... someone. I can't remember for the life of me who, but... Someone pointed out the purpose of those confirmed enemies in the game. The hooded enemies that randomly show up in the same way that key bullet kin do. They show up external of the room in which they show up. They just show up. And just fucking party for a while. It's nice. Uh, but if you kill 10 of those, not in a single run, but overall, 
So I'm surprised I haven't had this trigger yet. But if you do kill 10 of those, you unlock a new item. And I've not unlocked that item yet. It sounds cool as hell, by the way. It's, uh, it's like two heart containers up, 15% extra fire rate, and then a chance to charm enemies as you walk into a room. It's real cool. The Yellow Chamber is the name of the item. So that's something I'm looking forward to getting as soon as possible. Ah, right. King Bullat. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was... A bad fight, but mechanically solid? Strategically, it was stupid. I should have just gone to the left as soon as I possibly could have. Uh, but mechanically, it was solid because I just went into the fight and my body took over. It was like, th no, this is how you do this. I'm not forcing the weapon this far, I guess. Hmm. was really hoping to get a better boss kill there. I'm probably going to use the sniper rifle for the boss kill on this floor. I think at this point, I do have to prioritize having a... Beautiful. I do have to prioritize having the health. Mm, yeah, I'm never going to be opening that either. I do have to prioritize having HP up. So I've got to focus on getting those master rounds rather than getting the weapons right now. I should have been able to do both, but... Good lord. And then the respawns stand very far away. Hmm. I really think those guys should drop way more. The... Cthulhu Summoner Split Guys, the Illusionists, whatever you want to call them. I really think that the difficulty of those enemies in low damage runs means that they should kind of be, maybe not a signature enemy, but like a semi-signature enemy. Oh, okay. I'll check the shop as soon as possible. I always like when I unexpectedly one-shot things. It's the one I was trying to go for the whole time. Yeah. I... I picked up a key? Oh, right, out of the brown chest. I always forget about those as being keys. I just collect them on instinct. Oh, well. This room has been a giant catastrophe. I did blank there, and I still got hit twice. God damn it. It's always the opening phase of the cannon balrog that gives me the most trouble. Because you don't have the distance from the Cannon Balrog to actually get off good dodges. And you just get more and more cornered as time goes on. Yeah, there we go. Another hit. I guess this run is just going to fizzle. This is my bad for trying to play as soon as I wake up in the morning. Okay, wake up in the afternoon. Fair enough, but still. Yeah. I was about to say I'm going to need something stupid to carry me through this run. That's... That's a little wacky. 
I wouldn't describe it as entirely stupid yet, but it's definitely a little off kilter. It's definitely a little unconventional, let's say that much. Uh, I've got one more floor to try and get a master round significantly. Fuck me. Why do I do this to myself? Runs that really, really, really ought to be strong, I just drop master rounds left, right, and center. And then I panic right up until the end of the game, and then the game is like, um, actually, I'll give you this, and then I just win. And it feels really shit, because then it feels like the victory isn't mine, the victory is given to me. Ah, I really should have taken pulse cannon ammo there. I think the first way to end that occurrence is to start anti-tilting. Start focusing a little more, because when you focus, you care so much more, but when you tilt, you stop caring. And that's part of the reason why tilting makes you so bad at games. You lose the reflex to care. It's kind of like an internal loss aversion tactic. Uh, you know what? I'm opening it now. It's going to be Riddle of Lead. Not really a Riddle of Lead. I haven't had Riddle of Lead in ages. I'll be taking that. Riddle of Lead, of course, being a... Hang on a second. Wait, I should swap to this on the offhand. There we go. Uh, Riddle of Lead, of course, being impossible to talk about while I'm fighting a room, evidently. It's like a damage up, HP up, movement speed up, enemy bullet speed down, if I recall correctly. I don't even think it has any curse uh, associated with it. Although, at this point, I would prefer that it had Curse. You know what would be really cool with this build? Sick fucking chamber. That'd be sick. Whee. Why aren't any of them harming me when they run into me? I don't have anything that would make me immune to melee. Not that I can think of, at least. Um, I'll have you know I aimed that correctly. Auto-aim actually kicked it away. Damn homing bullets. Sometimes homing bullets does not have your best interests in mind. Especially with weapons like this. Penetrative weapons, homing bullets just suck with. Okay. Obviously, Yari launcher against the boss, but... Excuse me? That first shot should have gone through as well. I've half a mind to drop the homing bullets right now. Okay. Managed to hit both. They were too big to miss them. Okay. This one's passive or active. Thank you. It's actually gonna 
pretty much beg for something uh, of that kind of ilk, specifically HBR. Fist. Alright. It's giving me a lot of high tier guns. I don't know if I'm gonna have the ability to refill the Yari launcher before I next need to use it though. Fucking shops locked. I think I actually just leave since the shop is locked. I think that's actually where we're at right now. I guess I'm glad that I picked up that key earlier. In retrospect, it turns out that was the correct play. Now, I don't want to make a lot of plays that turn out to be correct only in retrospect, but... It's fine. I don't need a black market on this floor, I just need a... Do I even need a special shop? Just give me one thing of red or black tier quality in the forge shop itself. Bonus points if it's really good and still has curse on it. So it actually takes six shots to take out a revolver knot with this right now. With the sniper rifle specifically. Not want to lose that armor. Been losing too much armor too flippantly. Okay. Was pretty damn certain I was just going to be able to knock that one off and then move past. Turned out to be right. Okay, homing shots. Please stop homing my target. Uh, homing my bullets towards a target that is literally immune to damage. This is not appreciated. Uh, alright. Don't be sacrifice. Alright. Oh, that's worse. Sacrifice I still would have used. Would have taken me to 50% extra damage from my curse, plus 20% damage from... The sacrifice, or twenty-five percent damage from the sacrifice, whatever that is. I really ought to have held off until I explore the entire floor, see if, you know what, Jellyman's going to show up, and he's going to have Gundromeda strain, and I'm going to be sad about it because I'm not going to be able to purchase it. Because of what I just did. That is invariably going to occur. Okay. Try again. Beautiful. <sighs> oh shit, I'm only four ammo left in this? Um... Yeah, we're running out of guns and bullets very quickly. Damn near unprecedented speed of running out of those things. Especially considering we should be having ammo drop left, right, and center. Maybe it's that I just kept putting it in guns that were already full. 
Yeah, that seems like why this would be failing. Can these ducks stop running into the wall? If the ducks actually had pathing to go around walls, it would make them 95% better. But right now, when I try and play safe, the ducks just screw me. This gun is a lot more accurate, but I have to imagine a significant portion of that is currently due to the homing bullets. Okay. That'll do it. What do we got for a gun? Oh, okay. Well, now I just need to worry about putting ammo in my best weapons. My best, sorry, my boss weapons. The knocking mechanics are so real. There we go. That's all I really wanted to worry about, taking out the red coat as soon as it came out. Okay. Beautiful. This has to be the... No? Hey! Goodbye confirmed. Okay, I still must have a few confirmed left. Oh, you know what? It would be so cool. So cool if you had to kill 300 of them to get something. You know that I have 300 confirmed kills? Who do you think you're talking to, kiddo? Copy pasta? Because they are called confirmed. It'd be perfect. I mean, obviously it'd be tedious as fuck with their current spawn rate. But I think I'd give up. I think I would, uh, I think I would sacrifice that much time just for the value of that joke. Okay. Um, one level of curse to hold puts me to 4.5. One item generated puts me to 6.5. I haven't stolen anything. I've got 2.5, 1, so I've, I've got three levels of curse currently. Yeah, I can do this. <laughs> I don't know what fucking decided that I should fight them in here. But it was a great decision, evidently. A flawless decision. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, what's this down here? That's what I've been wondering this whole time, because this fucking room can't lead... All right, fair enough. All of those would put me over my curse limit. I mean, it's really important that I try and flawless here, so I'll be expending the... Yari launcher which will give me my best chance to flawless. And it's also particularly effective against this boss because of its ability to shred through boss armor. Beautiful. Uh, for two cycling the heart, I think I'll go with the machine fist. Uh, 
I'm worried about these rolls, because I know I'll fuck it up. I've had this happen so many times recently where I desperately need... ...the Flawless. And then I fuck up very specifically the final thing against the boss here. Um, I'm gonna fire out the heart. Yeah, beautiful. I'm blanking it. I know I would have tried that four roll, and I know I would have regretted it. Got him. Okay, so that's... Two master rounds, one external HP up, no source of HP down. <sighs> Honestly? I'm very optimistic now. We have enough damage up that I think I can try and use Flash Ray legitimately. Uh, that's a shame. That item's gonna get broken. Because I pick it up. Eh, I'll use it next floor. This item... I mean, I can be using it to steal from somewhere, but if I use it to steal right now, I'll go above 7, but that's fine because I'll be destroying this, but then I won't be able to generate another item from the Lamek Configurum. Yeah, no, I, I definitely destroy the D-pad. So the D-pad, when you run out of ammunition, it destroys itself and just generates a chest of a random value. Uh, since I have the key, especially since I have the key, I'm okay with doing that. It's also not a half bad gun by itself. It's not great, but it's not half bad. Let me just say, like, you're not going to write home about this gun. Good roll, good roll. Let's get the sniper rifle there. Alright. I'm just trying to get the chest as soon as possible. I can't use the Laman Configurum until after I've destroyed this item, because then I'll free myself of two curse. I'm trying to constantly hit the combo here, so I get a fireball for my first attack. You're not going to see me cast the fireball, obviously, but you have to trust me. There's a fireball occurring. It's much more obvious when you don't have a bullet effect that recolors your bullets. But we do. Does a hell of a lot of damage when it works. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Like a hell of a lot worse. Please don't destroy my chest. I see you nifty fuckers trying to destroy my chest. I'm just going to take that. <laughs> Alright, this was a bad idea because I don't know where they are. Never mind, we fine. We cool. Hey! Two insta-kills as soon as I walk in here. I'm glad about it.
Nope. There we go. A little unfortunate how that ended up resolving with me getting hit when I had to go in for the kill against the Pupulon, but... Eh. Price to be paid. Yeah, I rolled way too early, though. If you're gonna roll against the wall, specifically to avoid that attack, you have to roll late. It's very late. Pretty much, when you think you'll definitely take damage, that's when you roll. Beautiful. So my next trigger of Lama Configurum should probably get me an item. Funnily enough, Lama Configurum, since uh, since orange has now been moved to the green tier, Lama Configurum can now give you orange. Which makes Lama Configurum way better. <laughs> They keep accidentally buffing things. I love it. I'm not taking that. It's a hilarious meme prank game, but uh, if you could actually give me a real item now. I've played entire runs with this item before. It is not enjoyable. Plus, the fucking... I can't roll over that. Why do I think I could roll over that? The resourceful rat doesn't even take it. So if I wanted to keep it until after I finish the floor and then come back and pick it up for the boss fight, I could do that. I'm not going to. But I could. It's important to know that is within the realm of possibility. I'm not charging up half of these shots as much as I should be. That's a big problem. I need to get back in tune with the speed of this gun. Alright. Got him. You too, buddy. <sighs> this one's easy. How the fuck is that a homing bullet? It missed! I was waiting to roll until uh, the shots came closer. Damn. I played myself. Thank you for the health. Had, what, two half hearts drop on this floor? That's not super lucky, but it's also not unreasonable. Very, very close to the boss, but I'm also starting to run out of ammunition for this gun. I can't believe I didn't take damage in that room. I actually cannot believe that. It is false. Someone has falsified the records on whether or not I took damage in that room. They edited the video to make it look like it. And then they implanted the memory in me. Okay. Finally, we're actually on the right path. The paths we went on that were wrong were actually just really handy because 
they've charged up a bunch of our Lamet Configurum, and we're probably going to get an item next time we use it. No? No item. Damn. Imagine my surprise. I mean, I could back up and get myself another charge in the Lamet Configurum. Just go complete some extra rooms. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I definitely have the weaponry to kill this boss right now. Alright, we'll try one more time with this Lamen Configurum. And then... Over to you. <laughs> I have to do an extra room on top of my extra room because the previous one was just not enough. Just in case I need it. Really? You know what? When I think about it like this... That, picking up that weapon is actually a 20% damage up for all of my weapons. Makes me feel a lot better about it. <sighs> Don't try and summon any friends, because that's when this gun becomes bad. Okay. That could have been a lot easier than it was. Uh, what gun do I use for the second section? Yeah, probably still the compressed air tank. I guess I'm saving Yari for the final section. Is that even necessary? I think I can, like, half Yari this dude. Yeah, I think I actually, like, half Yari this dude. Shit, is he gonna die to half of the Yari? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's a little more than half of the Yari. A hundred shots from the Yari does it. But still, that is the area I was most likely to take damage. And it's now over. I forgot how insane it is to buff the Yari with extra damage. Because when you buff the Yari with extra damage, it still doesn't hit boss armor. The Yari is immune to hitting boss armor. Whee. Oh, come on! Well, the spacing on all of those sucked, but thankfully it still worked out. It's weird, every time I fuck up the run, the game gives me so much. And then when I play... Okay, this is gonna sound boastful. But when I play in a really, really mechanically solid way, the game will often give me not really that much to work with. What's gonna happen when I fuck up and the game gives me nothing? Because here, it gave me compressed air tank and Yari launcher. It gave me Laman Configurum. On the first floor, it gave me Cursed Bullets, but that was before I knew I was fucking up. And, of course, to top it all off, it gave me Mega Hand. I think without any one of those four items, we still would have lost that. Good lord, Ryan. You need to probably take a break from Gungeon for today. Because you have not got your shit together. Or at the very least... Fill your veins with caffeine and come back to it. My name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we will see you next time.